he is being pressed for time because we only give him a very short period of time to prepare himself to uh, give this lecture. But I'm sure he's no longer a guest, and I hope he will feel this way. Most of you must have heard about our speaker, but to those who haven't, well, let me introduce him to you. Um, he was born in Jamaica, uh, but grew up in Canada and embraced Islam in the year 1972. He obtained his diploma in Arabic and Master of Arts in Islamic Theology from the University of Medina and Riyadh, respectively. He has taught Islamic education and Arabic on the junior high and high school levels at Manorit Al Riyad schools from 1979 to 1987. He is presently enrolled in Islamic Studies doctoral program at the University of Wales. It is also worth mentioning uh, that uh, he is also involved or has committed himself in training new Muslims in the field of Dawah. He has also uh, uh, he is an author and has published uh, his work um, for the uh, benefit of everyone. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalam ala rasulillah. All praise is due to Allah, and may Allah's peace and blessings be on his last messenger Muhammad, وسلم, and on all the prophets. The topic of this evening's lecture or presentation is that of Christmas in Islam. And I chose this topic particularly because this is around the period of time when people start preparing for the celebration of Christmas. Uh, there are Muslims who partake of this celebration in various ways and forms, as well as, of course, non-Muslims who celebrate this. And I felt that there was some information concerning the origin and practice of Christianity in Christmas that both Muslims and non-Muslims should realize, should understand in order to put the practice of Christmas in its correct perspective. Now, by definition, Christmas is the Christian festival celebrated on the 25th of December, commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. And by definition, Muslims are obliged to believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. It would therefore seem logical that Muslims should be involved in the celebration of that miraculous birth along with Christians who celebrate it. Especially considering the fact that Muslims in many parts of the world celebrate the birthday of Prophet Muhammad. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. The goal that I would try to reach in this talk would be the understanding of this uh, question. There seems to be something illogical there. So this is what I would like to like for us to look into, to find out why that is, because I'm sure uh, most Christians know, and many, most Muslims know also, that Muslims do not celebrate Christmas in general. So this evening I want to try to look to some degree as to why they don't. Now, to understand Christmas, we 
we need to understand what it means, what its origin is from the point of view of Christian scholars themselves. The term Christmas comes from the Old English word Christes Massi, that's Christ, Mass, Mass being that uh, form of worship particular to the Catholic Church. And it was first used in the 11th century. 11th century. That is approximately 1,000 years after the time of Christ. In other words, Jesus Christ never referred to it, never spoke of it. His disciples never spoke of it. They didn't know it. In the Romance languages, because this is Old English, the term generally used is Dies Natalis Domini, that is, the day of our Lord's birth. The day of our Lord's birth. That is, indicating that this was the day on which the Lord God was born. In terms of the origin of the 25th of December, the scholars hold that no one knows the exact date of birth of Jesus. I'll quote from Collier's Encyclopedia, in which the scholars there said, it is impossible to determine the exact date of the birth of Christ, either from the evidence of the Gospels or from any sound tradition. During the first three centuries of the Christian era, there was considerable opposition in the Church to the pagan custom of celebrating birthdays. Very interesting statement. During the first three centuries after the time of Jesus, the official church, Christian church itself, was opposed to the celebration of birthdays, period. Because the celebration of birthdays was a pagan practice. Jews never celebrated their birthday. Jesus was a Jew. Neither he nor his disciples followed the practice of celebrating birthdays. Birthdays amongst the Greeks and the Romans were celebrated with prayers, sacrifices, and banquets. And it was also the custom to offer presents the person whose birthday it was. This was a pagan practice. It has no place in the religion which prophet Jesus brought. This is something very fundamental. This is showing us that the origin of the celebration of the birthday was not of divine revelation. It was a, a pagan practice which was incorporated into the practices of the church. The New International Dictionary of the Christian Church states there is no authoritative historical evidence as to the day or month 